at 30 knots. That's impressive even by today's standards. During World War II, 1940 to 1946, the Queen Mary served as a military personnel carrier. During those six years, she carried over 750,000 troops across the Atlantic. During the war, the Germans placed a bounty on the Queen Mary, so she was painted gray and to help disguise her, the two front decorative smokestacks were removed. Only the rear operating stack was left. This coupled with her speed and a little luck allowed her to survive the war unscathed. The two front stacks were replaced after the war to restore the Queen to her original design. In 1967, the Queen Mary was brought to the city of Long Beach after sailing around the tip of South America. The Queen Mary was converted to a hotel with 350 rooms, banking facilities, and meeting rooms. She also serves as a floating historical museum with a variety of tours available, showing the history and splendor of transatlantic travel. There are also a variety of boutiques and specialty shops aboard, plus a few very nice restaurants that are open to the public. As we make our way around the stern of the Queen Mary, we see a large white dome building. This dome was originally built to house the legendary Spruce Goose, when there's a seal. famous flying boat and the largest all-wood seaplane. The Spruce Goose flew only one time for about a minute back in 1947 in the port of Long Beach. The plane was moved from a hidden hangar to this dome in 1983 and opened to the public for tours. In 1992, the Spruce Goose was moved to McMinnville, Oregon, where it is the centerpiece for the Air Adventure Museum. Warner Brothers Studios purchased the dome and it was used as a soundstage for a variety of TV programs and movies. The best known movies shot here were Jack Frost and some of the Batman series. Gotham City was built and located in the 137,000 square foot dome. Carnival Cruises purchased the dome in 2003 and it is now the main ticketing and reception center for Carnival Cruises. Ships leave from this facility about three times a week on three, five, and seven day cruises.